Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, we're here today to discuss a homicide that occurred on August 5th of 2022 uh, at a house party on Ramsgate Way in Rancho Cordova. The victim in this case was 20-year-old Corey Shearer, who was shot multiple times after what we think was a dispute at a house party. Uh, detectives have been working diligently on this case and have come to a point where we need the public's help and we've identified a person of interest in this case that was identified by some witnesses as fleeing just afterwards and we've obtained surveillance footage, uh, small video and still pictures. He is described as a black male, approximately 17 to 20 years old, uh, roughly 5'10 to 6 foot 1 in height, weighing between 130 and 150 pounds. Now, witnesses stated he was wearing all black clothing and wearing a black face mask. What we need from the public is anything you have, even if you don't know who this person is. If you have any pictures, videos, anything from that party that might help uh, identify this individual, we'll take it from you. Uh, you can remain completely anonymous. You can identify or you can bring these tips to us by phone at 874-5115. That's our non-emergency number. There's also cash rewards available through Crime Stoppers, and they can be reached at 443-4357, all 916 area codes. Like I said, anything you can provide, you can remain completely anonymous. We appreciate everything, and even more so, I know the family does. Uh, now I'd like to bring up Crystal Shear, Corey's mom, accompanied by her family, and she'd like to provide a brief statement will uh, both be available for questions uh, once she's done speaking. Hello, my name is Crystal Shear. I am Corey's mom. There are a million things that I want to say to try to describe the person that he was and how special and how loved he was. Corey is my firstborn child and my only son. He was the one who made me a mother and gave my life meaning. He changed my world in the best way possible the second I met him and the love that I have for him cannot be measured. We had worked graveyard shift at the same company recently and he would come find me if there was an extra beautiful sunrise. <sighs> or he'd take a picture so he could show me later. He had such an appreciation for the everyday little things that so many take for granted. He loved his three sisters so much and I was always so grateful for the relationship that they had. When he got one of his first full-time paychecks, he used that money to take his sister shopping and out to eat and spend the day together. He had the most beautiful smile and the best sense of humor. He was kind. He was loving, vibrant, affectionate, and genuine. He loved his family and friends so much, always greeting us with the best of hugs. He was so special to so many people, and he'll be missed dearly every single day. For anyone who is listening today, please take a moment to think about your own child, your child who you love more than life itself. Think about your brother or grandson or nephew. Think of all the memories you've shared together and how special they are. Imagining this happening to your loved one, being brutally gunned down and shot, not knowing what their last moments on this earth were like. Imagine receiving that call, the fear, the panic of not knowing whether or not they'd survive, driving at night aimlessly to numerous hospitals, frantically trying to locate them, begging to God for them to be okay, only to find out that they're gone and you will never see them again and the unbearable pain that ultimately follows. 
our family has been shown so much love and support from our friends, family, and community through all of this, and for that, we are forever grateful. However, we need our community again. We are desperate to find the person who robbed our boy of his life, his sisters of their only brother, and his parents of their only son. If you have any information that will be helpful, please, please help our family and our boy receive some sort of justice in this tragic and senseless situation. Every day that this monster is out free in our community is a chance that this nightmare could be some other family's reality. I pray that you never ever know this eternal and unbearable pain that my family and I must live with every single day. Thank you.